movieweb.com. So I actually wanted to begin by asking you, because it felt a lot uh, like sort of the classic American films of the 40s, the sort of screwball comedies, um, Roman Holiday, and some of, you know, Her My Girl Friday, and some of that stuff. Was this sort of the tone that you kind of, you know, Philadelphia story, that kind of tone that you were going for on the set, or was there something sort of different that you were going for? No, it, oui, bah, si tu veux. Mais it was, it was. The, the Pascal Chomet, the director, was totally influenced by Cucor, Capra, uh, Lou Beach, and it was it was all that what he had in mind. With, uh, of course, you know, making it m modern and like we do it today, but with that type of pace and that type of freshness also, and uh, charm. Yeah, it had a lot of charm and a lot of just sort of good feelings about it. Was that kind of was it like that on the set? Was that sort of the tone of the script? It was yeah, like that on the set. We we worked a lot before on the script. I mean, a lot. Yes, we discussed a lot, but scenes and what we wanted to add, you know, more romance and, and what we wanted to take off, yes. some little gags we didn't like so anyway. But uh, and after when we were agree, yeah, on the set it was very uh, spontaneous, very natural, very... Sort of organic. It wasn't, you know, we, we, we weren't uh, thinking about making fun and making things funny and it was just a mood. It was really organic, the way it is sort of all organic. came together. Organic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Organic. Oh, great. Well, and your character in the film, Alex, I mean, in the States, we would call this guy a player, you know, right? A player? A player, right. That's was how we would that's sort a, that's, of... That's positive. I like it. Yeah. It, it, you it, can it, say asshole. Or something. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. <laughs> okay. maybe, maybe, you would, maybe you would say that. Um, no, but, she, no. <laughs> uh, but I was, just, I was just curious. I mean, could you talk a little bit about, you know, Alex, what makes him tick, why he does what he does? What he does? Yeah, why does he do it? Like, what, what kind of person is he? What, what makes him tick? You know, I tried, I, I tried to not think too much about the moral thing because, of course, he's, he's not very um, uh, sympathetic because, you know, he's doing this and nobody knows if you're really happy or not in your, uh, with your lover. So, you know, but I, I, I tried to make him more... Um, um, uh, no, Fra fragile, uh, yes, to, you know, to, to add some doubts in, in his um, uh, work to, to, uh, for the missions, you know, to, to, to break uh, the, the couples. The couples, yeah. Just don't make it something so uh, uh, assumed, assumed that, that because he plays a, a heartbreaker, a breaker of couples, and what Romain added to the script, which really makes the whole thing more sensitive and more likable for everyone. Is not that easy. Voilà. Not, you know, not I'm smiling and I can seduce you, know, you if I want. No, I wanted to, yes, to, to, to show it more. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a job. You know? Make him a hard worker. That it's hard not to worker, all yeah. uh, hard worker. It's hard not, worker. That it's not. That's uh, a good title. C'est pas gagné quoi. That it's not all. It's uh, not easily won, and he's yeah. vulnerable as well. It's not voilà. easily won, and he's vulnerable. Oh, well spoken. Very good. Yes, you know, it's like that. <laughs> Sometimes I have some <laughs> just came out of nowhere. Yeah. Well, and I wanted to ask you because you know when Juliet meets Alex, a very, you know isn't uh, into it at first when she meets him she's sort of, sort of taken aback but the, the feelings start to change a little bit could you talk about that attraction and how that changes through the course of the film uh, I, I play Juliette is a, a very stubborn independent woman and she is pretty uptight even you know very pretty uptight and she the movie starts where she's about to get married to this perfect English man um, and there's nothing that could deviate her from her road, you know, and he comes, you know, with the French touch and just, you know, does his thing and works really hard, but nothing works because she is, she's super stubborn and she has set up a mind to marry this guy and this is the life she has for herself. So for me, it, at first, you know, I was really scared to play such a, a, a rigid person, you know, where I was acting in front of uh, Romain and the and François Damiens and Julie Fay, who plays like really funny eccentric characters, and I thought, okay, you know, I'll be, I get to be the boring one, you know, <laughs> but you always need one of those so that the other ones are, you know, have the freedom to be crazy. So, but 
the you one weren't boring. No, but I was afraid I was going to. But the the what I had um, to look for it is that you know there's a turnaround. You know she does have a wild side after all, and that you know when she starts to listen to her heart rather than her head too much, then she becomes more sympathetic. And then everybody does actually, and and it's a movie that happens happily. So. Um, yeah, that's pretty much. Well, and finally, it. I just wanted to ask: Does Alex learn his lesson in the end? Do you think? Do you think that he sort of comes full circle and realizes the error of his ways? But he he he, he discovered again the love, you know. I think so. Of course, he he's less stupid than the beginning. And the beginning, <laughs> he, he learned something. Wake me up. Before you go, 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 go